If you look at, and now I'm moving a little bit forward to the sort of flood that started middle of last year or fall last year. April of, April of 2014 is when it really hit. Okay, so, so the flood that's been coming since then, to me that flood can't happen unless the American government and intelligence agencies who are deeply operating in all those places, um, including connected to narcotics trafficking, if, unless, you know, that's a faucet they can turn on and off. So if the faucet's on, it's because they want it on. It right. Could it not could happen absolutely without the coordination between the United States government, the governor of Mexico, and the government of the sending nations. Yes. Right. So and we had been hearing uh, through the agents that were working it down in the Rio Grande Valley that the United Nations personnel were involved. But it, as you know, there were threats put out to the contractors that were hired by Health and Human Services and Homeland Security and other entities to work with these people that if they talk to the press or, or put out any information about these detainees that they would be prosecuted criminally. And they told the agents the same thing. So we were getting bits and pieces about the UN, the United Nations personnel being involved. And everybody uh, initially thought, oh, it's the guy with the blue helmets and the blue airplanes and this, that, and the other. And here recently, we actually, uh, there was observed uh, on Fort Huachuca here near Sierra Vista, a uh, light blue C-130 type aircraft that was doing touch-and-go landings at the dirt airfield on Fort Huachuca, and it had the large letters U-N on the side of the aircraft. Mm -hmm.